rendition number two of my dream sneaker room slash content room. Actually moving in about two and a half weeks, my wife and I bought a townhouse, so this is gonna get completely overhauled. I thought we'd be here longer. Thankfully, unfortunately, we bought a place. So totally new setup coming in about two and a half weeks, three weeks, and I'm gonna be doing that on shorts and YouTube here. So thought I'd give you a quick rundown like I did of the last place, go to it. So we're gonna start at the main part in the setup. This is my large, large white desk that I have in the middle of the room. It's something a little bit different than most people have. A lot of people have it against a wall. I tend to not like that. I feel like I'm like locked into a spot. I think it might change in the next setup, but I, I'm not sure on how it's gonna look. I kind of got to plan that out yet, but big desk right in the middle. I do everything from unboxings to editing. I also have a TV in front of me, which is nice to have YouTube on or sports or just music like I do now. Uh, so that's something I really like. I've had this desk for a few years now. Standing legs are from Amazon and then the top is from Ikea. So it's super nice to have a standing desk when I'm filming because if I have my tripod set up and I need to get more space from a top down angle or more space on taking photos, if I'm doing photos and I want to have a different background, I can just adjust it. So I don't see a lot of people using standing desks for filming reasons, but I highly suggest it just because versatility is super nice. So main editing machine here at MacBook M1 Max from 2021, been a beast. The only thing that I'm gonna change in the next setup is potentially get a secondary display. And another thing that I wanna do in the next setup is have a dedicated desk setup for editing. Probably 80% of the creative workflow between Power Lodge videos for work as well as shoe videos. So editing is a big part. Having this chair doesn't really work very well and the same desk works, but I mean, this is not, not great for sitting on for long periods of time. So that's gonna switch, but Ikea Billy shelves. I've had these for years. I've kind of just ran with them because they're a great look at shoes. You can kind of pull stuff off. It looks good in the back of shoots and I've always liked them. So Billy Ikea shelves, and then you get extra shelves for the middle for shoes. It fits, I got 10 and a half 11s, everything up to Jordan 5 high top. I mean, it fits everything. So I, I like the look of it. I've had them for a while. I get a lot of questions on where I got them. So that's what we got here. I like to keep them color coordinated just cause it looks cool. I got the reverse Grinches recently, pretty cool pair. I just got, I did a video on these, the soft vinyl Air Maxes, really cool pair as well. And then I just got some off-white twos that I've been wanting for a while. Super cool pair. I don't know if I'll keep them, but got them for the time being. Also got my pair of SB4s. Did a wear test on those, but I just got a fresh pair. So a lot of different shoes here. I also have my Grails up top in a couple of boxes. Here is a pair of Neckface SB Dunks signed by the man himself. Pretty cool pair there. Jeff Staple Pigeon Dunks. I just got those last October or so at a sneaker con. Other shelf here, a little plant from Ikea in the middle. I also have these light bars all around the room. I have one here. I have one over there. I have one over there. We have a couple more in the living room of our apartment now. They're super nice. They always do deals on them. They're Govi LED bars. You can get them for 150 bucks on Amazon. They go on sale frequently for a hundred. I just picked up another one for $89. So, I mean, they're expensive, but they look really cool. They're fully customizable with colors and everything. So I really like them. Ambient lighting in the background. Second shelf here, I got another one. A lot of shoes here. This is all Jordan 1s, color coordinated. Pokemon Clark series that I think is super cool on this shelf. Mischief, Reebok pumps, really cool pair. I've yet to wear these, but the colorway is super cool. Jordan 1 glows custom from GQ Customs on Instagram. And then of course we have my two pairs of 85. So I currently have the Chicago's fully restored. I've yet to wear them. Super, super nice pair. And then I also have this pair of neutral grays that I think I'm going to sell. Two reasons. One, they are wearable. They have soft uppers, but the outsole is completely rock hard and the outsole is falling apart. So it needs a sole swap. And I don't know if I'm going to do that because once you keep them OG all, I don't know. It's, it's tricky. So I don't know if I'm going to keep them. I got a good deal on them. So I might just flip them and maybe get another grail. So a lot of cool pairs here. Uh, let's keep it going. All right, coming over here. This is the main entrance point Pokemon deck. I did an unboxing here. I was looking for one of the gold ones. Never got it. Got the magic card. Worst deck out of the bunch, but I think it's still cool. Big Pokemon fan. Uh, this is kind of the ever changing space. I don't know where this is going to be in the new place, but this is all the stuff that I recently got or I need to do videos on or I need to put in storage. So it's kind of a combo of everything. Really cool pair here, the unheard of grandma's couch. I also have just random stuff that you guys haven't seen. Some Solomons that I got from Kith. It's going to do a video on. I thought they were really cool, but I got them for super cheap and they're like a running shoe. So stuff like that. I haven't done videos on it. There's also empty boxes of stuff that just went on the shelf. A couple of pairs of Anthony Edwards. Really crazy. Let me just show you this right now because I don't think I'll do a YouTube 
YouTube video on it, but it's a white castle box. I picked this up uh, online for 60 bucks on Put Yourself in the Shoes. It was a collab between Puma, I believe. Puma, Puma, Puma. Yep, so White Castle shoes. They're actually pretty cool. Pretty interesting color. It looks like a burger. A bunch of other stuff, just bear claws, no two ways. I get pretty frequently. A couple pairs of them in your fives. Fear of Gods. Uh, this I just got in today. I guess we can open it up now. I, I don't even remember. I know one pair in here. There might be two pairs. I'm not sure. It looks like there is two pairs. First pair here, Jordan 1 elephant print, 10 and a half. Paid 60 bucks for them. No, my wife's not a huge fan of these. Does not like elephant print, but they look cool. 60 bucks, might as well clean them up, maybe flip them. And size 10, Mac Attacks. Got another good deal on these. I already have a pair. I paid like 50 bucks for these. So a couple of pairs there, nothing crazy. Box out of the way. So basically get shoes in, toss them on the stack, and then get to recording them when at time. Special boxes here. I have the Billy Shelf for just kind of GRs and stuff that I'm wearing frequently. These are kind of more grails. Shout out Looksy Design, some of the best cases in the game. So this is crazy. Crazy pairs that I want to have on display that I'm really not wearing that much. Mummies, we got some New Balances. This is never that. Friends and Family Mischief, some J Balvins, Wabasabi Air Maxes, some Haritos Camcorder SBs. I haven't worn these at all. This is a summer pair, super fire pair, big camera kind of nerd when it comes to gear and stuff. Up here we have my mini shoe collection. These are kind of fun. So I use these as shoe mics. Currently I'm wearing a mic. People always ask me, how do I get the mic working right there? Boom, shoe mic, it's that simple. The idea actually came from my wife. She bought me this pair right here. It's a custom putter head cover. I have my putter right here, which is very convenient. I just have a blade putter, an Odyssey putter. You can slide it in there. And this is not a baby shoe. It's actually a company that makes these little putter head covers. So I actually lost this, fell off my putter, pretty disappointed about it. I ended up finding it and I was like, you know what? I can't use it as a putter head cover just because I'm gonna lose it again. It's really cool. I started using it as a microphone when I got these DJI mics. Lo and behold, people liked it. So I started hitting on some kid shoes. I got the Spider-Man's UNC sees the 85s and a little bit smaller of a size and then i even got like the j balvin kid shoes so kind of a cool little thing that's unique to me and when i do have kids they'll have some fire shoes down the road uh continuing on golf set shout out my wife sweet christmas gift stitch golf bag baby blue sticks we got in here we got some mira blades bulky wedges sim driver nothing crazy some cool head covers from a tournament i played in so the last summer was super busy got married graduated college started working full-time a whole bunch of different stuff so just did not have a lot of time to play but new place that we're moving to has a golf course really close so hopefully i get out on the course a lot more in the corner just some camera gear a couple of c stands amaran 300c is the main light that i use Got an art piece that I used to have over there by my, my dudes. I had it in the background quite a bit, so uh, I thought I'd switch it up. More light bars back here, a little fake plant. AC unit that I'm very excited to leave behind in the old apartment. Cool view out the window. We got my favorite shelf over here. I got this on Amazon. It just looks cool. It's flush to the wall. Uh, I got a blank studio. Liquid metal, kind of cool little piece there. Uh, some vintage, shout out John Carlo. Some 1991 baby shoe Jordans. Use them as a shoe mic. I haven't used them yet, but they're actually dead stock with the box. So pretty cool there. Other camera gear I got here, quick use. Sony a7 IV. G Master 24 to 70 lens. I use it as a podcast camera because my FX3 doesn't do live streaming. So I keep this around. Fujifilm X100V. My wife and I have been having a lot of fun with this. I do all my sneaker photos with it. Super portable. We take everywhere. Macro lens, 70 to 200. My AE1s, big Timberwolves fan. Been going to a lot of games this year. These just dropped, super fire pair. Got some Legos down here. Uh, Factory Lab, little encased piece from the launch party. My favorite boots, Red Wing boots. Got these on our mini honeymoon after the wedding in Red Wing, Minnesota at the headquarters. So actually a limited edition color. That's pretty cool. So I'll be keeping those around. We got some coffee table books that we'll be using on the coffee table at the new place. This is kind of Kirk's place to lay. That's his spot, we'll leave him there. Coming up, super, super, super cool. Very fortunate to have this. So this piece is by my good friend, Al Baker from Deadstock Anatomies on Instagram. So what's really cool about this is it is a pair of Jordan 1 Homage to Homes from Goat. Super, super cool thing he does. He basically makes it like look, look like one of those insect prints where they like put them on a piece of paper and like stick them out so you can see them. A lot of science rooms in high school had those. This is basically that with sneakers. So he deconstructs the entire thing 
thing and then he glues it. You can see the size tag. We can see the bleeding of the red fabric on top. You see the overlay numbers and then he's got a super cool print, custom frame. The whole deal is super high quality. It looks super cool in the background. Homage to home, perfect pair because it's split. It, it, this the whole thing makes me excited.